when you want to check up a container whether you want to put blocks or sleepers under it or level it doesn't matter but when you lift it up there's always a risk of tipping and when you're going to use a jack under this pretend this is the container if there is a jack under here this corner over there becomes almost weightless so it's almost like a seesaw going like this and and the slightest movement in this direction if there's soft ground or if the, ch the check is just slightly tilted it'll take very little to tip and this will shift your container like maybe 30 40 centimeters if you have a bottle check under there and that can be dangerous if you get a foot or a hand under there and it's also a really big hassle if it's if you want to relocate it back to where it was but if you have a check on each side this side and that side and you go forth and back pump here a few times pump here a few times so there's always tension under both checks the whole of that side is going to touch the ground and when you think about that if, if this whole side touches the ground it it is much much less likely to tip because it takes a lot more force because the the friction of moving the container from one side is so much greater than if you have it only on on that corner of the check then there's this this single point here where it tilts and so just the slightest instability is gonna is gonna tip it but if both are on the ground then it's fairly stable and that's uh, the reason why a lot of people trying to check up their containers uh, the, the check winds up tipping especially if there's soft ground and and the check wants to lean a little bit but if there's a check on both sides then the stability from back there is probably enough to prevent that from happening but you should still make sure that your check is as level as possible and put a, a brick or a block of wood or a plate or something under the, the check to give it as flat a stable ground as possible The sleepers on this container have sunk into the ground and uh, it's getting humidity in the container so I'm going to lift the container up using these bottle jacks and put gravel underneath the sleepers and then put them back in. So I've dug a hole here, just that check on this side and here on the other side. There is another bottle check. I'm going to lift the two sides as even as possible and as straight as possible, hoping that uh, the container is not going to tip.
this beam that was under it was put under so poorly that it was broken and now I'm going to put some gravel underneath because it's incompressible before I put the new sleeper in. I want to uh, see how thick the rim is when I put the sleeper on it so I know where to place it. So I need to reach under. Before I do that, I put all these bits of wood under it so that uh, my hand is safe. It's actually very thin. It's only that thick. So when I put the sleeper under it, it if it's that thick, the rim, you probably want it to stick out about that much in the front of it. I've lowered the container on this sleeper to compact them a little bit. And I've taken a check out and put some earth in it because there's a limit to how high the check can go. And in order to go higher, I put some uh, dirt in there and I'm going to place the jack in from a higher starting point and then I'm going to lift this thing again, just like before, and then put some more gravel in and, and then put the sleeper in properly. When you put the dirt back in, um, put the jack back on there, lift it a little bit, which what I just did. And then uh, if the, the ground compresses unevenly, you get some more dirt and you level it out until it is really straight. And don't fully lift the, lift the container off until it is fully straight. Otherwise you risk flipping it. Just lifted it the second time with some more dirt under it. It is still slightly more compressed on that side, meaning it's the jack is slightly like that, which risks tipping it that way. So I'm gonna lower it again and put a little bit more dirt on that side before I lift the container properly. Always just lift it a little bit and, and make sure how, how the ground behaves if you have soil as ground which is soft and can lean in one way or another because we do not want the bottle check leaning in any way because that's going to be a major risk for tipping. Okay I've put the gravel under it and uh, now I'll put the sleeper on top of the gravel Then I'm going to lower the jacks. I 
I'm only going to lower it a little bit on this side and a little bit on that side because if I lower it all at once on one side there's a chance that it might tip. That's this side. The result looks quite good. It's off the ground now. I'm gonna do the other side later. And that's the gravel with the sleeper. And that's that side. That's where the other check was I dug a hole on each side of the container, put the jack under it you can see the containers leaning to the right slightly so I'm going to lift this end and I'm gonna put some more gravel under the right side to level it out a little bit more. I've already done that on the back half of the container so there's currently some tension in it which means the doors are actually stuck but once I do it in the front they'll be loose again. The container is finished now both sides it's now well off the ground and that side is also done. Container is much straighter now and it's uh, lifted further on, on the back end than by the doors. Still leaning back. The back end still a bit lower but the left and right side are the same height now. <laughs> 